afternoon, judges, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor Hamlet Spigner. I'm 17 years old in the 12th grade, and I attend Shaker Heights High School. And I'm also in the early college program at Cuyahoga Community College. Um, the theme of my oration is um, <laughs> revitalize, rejuvenate, and recommit. Revitalize, rejuvenate, recommit. These are three words that should be poised with this generation of up and coming leaders so that the equality that has already been won for us does not fade away in vain. Revitalize. Webster's Dictionary defines revitalize as to give life to. I find that the number one thing to give life to is my own generation of black people. My generation is lacking knowing just how powerful and how important their lives actually are. What many of my fellow peers fail to recognize is that they are the product of a strong and determined line of ancestry. Strong because the slaves that make up many of our family trees survived the transatlantic slave route from Africa to a newly forming country and determined because these people not only survived but thrived, establishing new family connections, grasping a language in an unknown land where most only saw them as no more than a labor force. By educating and enforcing this importance to my generation, by by giving, a, by giving life to a stale attitude towards our own history, a stage will be set for us to move even further with Dr. King's dream. Rejuvenate. To make fresh or new again. This is the definition of rejuvenate. There is something that needs to be greatly rejuvenated, and that being the concept of the village in the black community. The village has died off. Everyone seems to be in this race of life for themselves lately. With the rise of pregnancy coming to those who are but children themselves, more children growing up without fathers or being raised by grandparents, many of our own ending up in prison. Our, faith, our, our health is failing as a people at alarming rates to the point where being black in America is not mostly threatened by Jim Crow, but by McDonald's, gangs, and premarital sex. Fault falls on all of us. For not stepping up and telling each other to wake up. We are being self-destructive and it ends now. Recommit. Recommit defined is to commit again. Um, in, this, in the years of the civil rights era, we as a people were committed to giving life to younger blacks to be proud of who they are and to rejuvenate the concept of the village because we had no one else to turn to in the obtaining of our rights. Now, since we have come so far from sharecropping, lynching just because you're black, and segregation being constitutional, we have lost the fervor for our own fight. Because until the day that all people recognize that there is ultimately one race, that being the human race, Dr. King's dream will have to be fought for. And I plead to my generation to wake up Realize who we are and what we represent so that we may create a more ethnically equal United States for the next generation that we have today. Thank you.